If you want to see the ultimate Star Wars cinematic canon chronological watch order, then look no further because this is the video for you. Hey guys, I'm the Great Jedi and welcome back to the channel. Now in today's video, we're continuing the series the Star Wars Cinematic Canon Chronological Watch Order with it all being updated to the year 2023 because for those that don't know what this series is or how often I update it, I do this series every year and it's basically where I go over all the canon cinematic Star Wars stuff in chronological watch order, whether it's the movies, shows, or even video games. And this is the way you want to watch the Star Wars universe if you're wanting to follow the time frame of the story and it all makes sense together rather than when they were made because like the movies for example were made at different times dealing with different eras. So in terms of release it started like with episode 4, then 5, and then 6, and then 1, 2, and 3, and then so on and so forth. So I totally understand how confusing all the movies and shows can be and it's just getting bigger and bigger and it can just get all jumbled around and be overwhelmingly confusing if you want to watch them all which is exactly why I'm making this video to make it as simple as possible. Although I will still put the dates of when they were made just in case some of you want to watch them in the order of release. But without further delay, let's get right into the watch order. Sorry to interrupt, the Clone Wars is also a bit tricky because there are some episodes in later seasons that actually take place before some other ones. So if you really want to be super specific and don't like the different time jumps, then there are all the Clone Wars episodes in chronological order here. But to be honest, I think you'll be fine watching it normally without jumping around like this. But here it is nonetheless if you decide you want to watch it like this. I would just consider watching the Clone Wars movie first and then watch the full show how it is. I would just save the last three episodes of season 7 for after Revenge of the Sith since they overlap. But anyways, let's continue. Now, really quick, I wanted to let you guys know that titles like Forces of Destiny and Tales of the Galaxy's Edge, as well as Tales of the Jedi, which are numbers 1, 
27 and 29 are all jumbled up in different eras, but I'd watch it how it is in the video so it doesn't spoil anything. The only exception I would give would be Tales of the Jedi, which I would watch episodes 1 through 4 before episode 1, just how it is in the video, but then watch episode 5 after season 1 of The Clone Wars, and then watch the 6th and final episode right after The Bad Batch for a better experience with that show. But anyways, that's going to do it for this video. If you guys did enjoy it and want to stay up to date on everything Star Wars, including the updated watch order list, please consider subscribing and liking the video. Only if you enjoyed it, of course. It's completely free, and if you didn't like it, that's cool too. Feel free to give the video a dislike and leave any constructive criticism in the comments for me on how to make this content better. I hope you all have a great rest of your day and that this video helped you and may the force be with you always.